We are starting our coverage here at the Precious Metal Summit in beautiful Beaver Creek. And joining me today to kick things off is the junior minor junkie, David Erfley. David, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Great to be back. We couldn't ask for a better backdrop than Beaver no, Creek place, here, right? This place is great. My favorite conference. So this conference is really focused on the junior mining sector, which is your specialty. Yes. And we're going to talk about that in a bit. But first, let's just look at the price of gold. Uh, it's you know fallen a little bit under critical support here. We're below 1320. Um, it's been such you know a wild ride here for gold. Uh, what do you make of the space right now? Well, um, it's selling off into the Fed meeting, which is uh, what I talked about in my last uh, update yes. on on, on uh, my uh, article, and um, it had a hundred and fifty dollar move in two months, and you know that's uh, that, that that's a nice move, and that needs to that needs to consolidate a little bit. Uh, we broke. Uh, long-term resistance at 1300 now it's coming back to test that resistance as support so were you so. rejoicing when it you know got past that 1300 mark <laughs> like a lot of people were were you one of those guys waiting to just cross that 1300 thre um, threshold I don't know about rejoicing but I was I was very happy yes but um, what I was what I'm more happy to see is is drill results being rewarded is strategic financing still coming into the sector you know uh, majors have invested over three hundred million dollars in this in this sector with strategic financing, and that's that, that, that's what I like to see. So, speaking of that, there's a lot of companies here presenting. You know, who are some top pick, picks for you right now? Who are you eyeing? Um, I really like. I'm sh I'm I'm a shareholder in all these companies. I'm I'm full going to tell you full disclosure. Yes, uh, Marathon Gold. They have a, a really nice deposit in in uh, Newfoundland, and uh, they're proving up quite nicely. And um, they have yet to get a strategic partner, though, so um, uh, I think uh, that might happen pretty soon. Uh, if if I was if I was a major, I'd definitely want to be, I, I'd I'd, I'd want to be I'd, I'd want to kick the tires on that one, and um, I really like Nighthawk Gold as well, and they're here. I'll be sp I'll be speaking with them, there there, and uh, I think my third pick. Um, it's I, I know you all know it well because it's had such a great run, but it's got to be Novo. Nova Resources, yeah. So, David, you know, for someone who is starting off, you know, looking at, you know, investing in the junior mining sector, you know, how do you kind of decide where you want to place your money? You know, what's your thought process? What, you know, how do you pick and choose here? Well, um, management is key, obviously. Um, the uh, jurisdiction is key, uh, is, is, is very key. And uh, the infrastructure around that jurisdiction, if they have any, or if it's possible for them to, to get some, if if they don't have any, if is, is the government working towards getting infrastructure there, like something in the Yukon, which is what, what we had recently. We had the government announcing that they were going to build, mm -hmm. they were going to fund a road and, and, and help the infrastructure on uh, a couple of the projects there. Right. But see, you have a successful newsletter, right? And you, you come to all these shows. I see you at all of them. So you have access to the management. But what about for someone you know, who doesn't have the chance to speak with the CEO? Well, how, how do you get to know the team? Everybody does have access to management. They can call them. Um, a lot of these CEOs, you can get on the phone. You can speak with them if you're persistent enough. You can you can chat with them. Um, so I would highly recommend you if you if you can't come to these conferences, right. call them up on the phone, ask them the tough questions, and they will answer them. In one of your recent articles, you mentioned that the sector is looking a little overbought right now. Uh, it was yes. Right. So you know, what is an investor to do? What do you you know at this phase? Do you sit on the sidelines? What do you do? Well, if you're an investor in in junior mining companies, you start to look for deals. What's 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 selling off right now that that had a really nice run that I missed? Um, you know, if, if 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 I missed something that had a, a really nice move and it's overbought right now, where's the support level? And um, should I put my money to work at that support level, which usually is a pretty good bet? All right, David Erfley, thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great conference. Thank you. Thanks for having and me. Thanks for watching our coverage. We're just starting here, so we'll have a lot more for you, so be sure to stay tuned to Kiko.com. Thanks, David.